Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman's back with you. We're on Lake Murray this morning. And uh, hey, believe it or not, it's uh, Friday. Ain't hardly nobody out here on this end of the lake. Everybody must be saying, fish must be biting somewhere else. Ain't nobody here. Yes, there's people all over this area. Today, ain't nobody here. This is where I've been catching them in this area on these little points. But you got to take your time. They don't bite just anything and they ain't biting that, that aggressively. Once you get them rolling, you catch a few. He ain't caught many uh, keeper stripers the last couple of days. Caught, I think, one each day. Caught a couple bass. But uh, we got bad weather coming in. Sometimes before this bad weather gets here, or right, right before it, they're going to eat it up. Probably tomorrow on Saturday. What I'm thinking. But then Saturday, there'll be a lot of people out here. Don't know if I'll go or not. Definitely ain't gonna go on Sunday because it's gonna be a real windy condition. Let's see if we did that. But I, one thing I've noticed the last couple days, fish don't bite until up into the day. So I, I wasn't in any rush getting here this morning. Seems like my fish have been biting starting around 11. Uh, I, I hadn't done much when I first started. Since I caught all them strappers that day, it was cloudy. And I hadn't seen any stripe of gull activity since then either. So that's uh, that was on a Monday, I believe. So that's been <coughs> four days since I've seen any gull activity. Any fish feeding activity. I see a few fish coming through. <coughs> Y'all pardon me, I got a doggone horse. I'm horse this morning. Got a sore throat. That bad weather I've been out here, cold. And I've uh, been riding, looking around on that darn golf cart, and it's cold. So I think I'm, I got a sore throat. But we keep on going. Right there's a couple fish, but they, they ain't nothing biting. I ain't had a bump. Yeah, I thought that was a bump, but it wasn't. I ain't looking good. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be up until the days before they start biting. That's the way it's been being. You can't find that up until the day. There's one, got one now. You got to take your time with these fish. This is a nice one. Might be a stripe. If it ain't a stripe, uh oh, he broke off. No, he just got off. I'll be that stripe. That dog on hook's kind of straightened out. Still shouldn't have got off. That was a nice fish right there, probably a striper. It wasn't a keeper striper if it was striper, but it could have been a big perch because it wasn't pulling quite like a striper. It might have been one of them pound perch. It got off. <clears throat> but, hey, it was a bite. The main thing you got to do when fishing is slow and they really ain't biting is you got to take your time, uh, especially in cold weather. You got to take your time. You got to move it slow. And you got to work an area. And once you can get them biting, you, they might stir up some. I think they're just laying on the bottom out there, not biting, is what I think. That's my opinion of what's happening. We're using the, right now, I'm going to go to, I'm going to rig up a rig with two hair jigs on in a minute. I rigged up one hair jig in a, in a, and uh, Charlie Brewer the other day and they wouldn't hit the hair jig, they only hit the Charlie Brewer. So what I'm gonna do today is, I'm gonna rig up a hair jig, two hair jigs, why well, don't even give them a choice and see if we can catch them. There's another one. If I don't give them a choice, we might still catch big old perch. That might have been a perch I had on a while ago. Seems like they've been hitting blue and I don't have any hair jigs in blue. I got some purples. <coughs> And yellows, the yellow part's what's on the end of these Charlie Brewers, but if I had some blue, I believe I, I'd catch them. But I, I got one purple right there. We're gonna give it a try. And green, and I'm gonna tie it on that little crappy jig, I, a crappy rod I got. The only thing, them, them hair jigs is more, got more buoyancy to them, and they ain't as heavy, and they don't, they don't work across the bottom as good. Uh, I might can put some lead on it, give it a little bit of weight a good bit of lead 
It's hard to beat these Charlie Brews and these uh, soft plastics uh, with the little swim tail on it. I don't like the curly tail, I like the paddle tail. <clears throat> Not that it won't hit the curly tail, I just don't, I just don't use them that much. Once on a blue moon I will, uh, triple ripple kind of curly tail. I like those okay. They'll hit those. But the problem is that I think they're hitting on a little bit bigger share. There's fish out there, but they hit. <clears throat> Seems like when I get 40s in the 40s, I can't get them to bite. I'm up in the 30s, I can get them to bite. When I start pulling off and getting into the 40s, they don't bite. What? Side on two hair jigs. And uh, we got our first fish on a hair jig. Look at that. We got our first perch on a hair jig. What I've done is I got, uh, it's light, so I use 10 pound test to make a little stiffer line. We got a purple and, and chartreuse, or purple and yellow, and a green and yellow uh, hair jig with two layers, one right above uh, each one of the jigs. And we just caught a doggone perch on a hair jig. <clears throat> So this is gonna be our little hair jig rod. It's my crappy rod. It's, it's a 10 pound floral carbon on the 2500 reel of uh, President Fluger. And I got a St. Croix six foot light action rod on this crappy rod. And uh, we using the hair jig and I just caught one on hair jig. How about that? Just caught one on hair jig. <coughs> I just want to give it a try, do something different. I don't know if they'll bite it as good, but we caught one. <clears throat> so, hey, don't know to, if I, I, I should just twitch it or swim it. You know, we swam the Charlie Brewers. Don't know which way they'll hit it the best. We'll figure it out. Though. Definitely figure it out. That was a pretty nice one. I don't know if these little hair jigs will catch them big stripers. It's good though. If they eating on a little tiny shad, it will. But most of the shad that I've seen spit up in my drum is the size of a two and a eighth inch swimming minnow. This thing here is about like an inch. It's a little. We might not get another bite. I don't know. A lot of people moving in now, coming up this way. Three other boats done come up here. Wasn't nobody up this area when I started. <clears throat> it must have been 20 boats up here yesterday. There, there was a bite. There was a bite right there. That was a perch. So let's drop it back down. And that way I was just easing it up when he bit it. Might have to do the angle just like we don't we do with the other jigs there. You? Hey, they'll bite these hairy jigs now. Look at that. Oh my, oh my. Catch them on a hairy jig today, look at that. <clears throat> that purple is what they want. If I had a blue hairy jig, they'd probably eat it up too. They hit the purple, they ain't hit the green. Now back down though. Hey, we might have something going with the hairy jig. That's what they use up north a lot for panfish. Me and Daddy used to use a hair jig all the time around the bank with a fly rod and crappy jig when in, in the spring of the year. I don't think it's many out there, just a couple scattered around. That's what I think is happening. Uh, I can't hang with this if they don't bite it. I'm sorry. I tried it the other day, but I didn't try that purple one. And I had, I caught several fish on the Charlie Brewer. Was there. I had a Charlie Brewer and I had that hair jig on. They never touched the hair jig. If you get them an option, they'll hit Charlie Brewer nine out of 10 times quicker. Let's put Charlie Brewer back out there. We get on them, I might pick this back up. Right now, I'm not so crazy about these little tiny hair jigs. Just not my style.
Just not my style, I'm sorry. <clears throat> People sit there and watch my show and they think they got a better way. I tell you, I done tried a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I'm not too sure there's a better way than Charlie Brew. I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't even think live metals is better than Charlie Brew if you do if you operate it and work it right. That's my opinion. They just, uh, I got them on heavy. The key is heavy jig heads. It's the key. I went through all kind of light stuff and kept having trouble. Then I finally got the floral car carbon cigar line stiff and it quit tying itself in knots and stuff. And I started producing. <clears throat> it's been a battle learning all this stuff. And I am constantly trying to change <clears throat> and figure them out. Right now, the fish ain't feeding. I can tell you that. We caught three little tiny fish. <laughs> and there hadn't been a lot of jumbos up in here, no how. I need to search for some jumbos. Somewhere there's jumbos. There's a bite. See that? Put a Charlie Brew out there and get one. Ain't that something? You think it don't make a difference, you wrong. It's hard for me to fish for something else. That blue Charlie Brew will kill them. The blue and the blue ice is what's killing them. <clears throat> they ain't huge, but man, them jokers in the Lake Murray that size is good eating. Mm. Good eating. <clears throat> them big ones out here somewhere, they might be suspended out in the middle with the stripers, I don't know. You gotta look around, try to find them. There he is. Got him. Got him. <clears throat> what it is, they ain't grouped up, they're scattered out. That's a fairly nice one, but it can't catch him on that blue. He ain't the size I'm catching in Monticello. The last couple times I went to Monticello, it was aggravating. That water wasn't right, and it's just aggravating. I can come over here and I ain't gotta worry about dropping water. I would rather fish Lake Murray <clears throat> if I can get on some bigger fish. Of course, you got the stripers you can catch too. They ain't no stripers in Monticello. A lot of bass. I'm sure I could have caught a few bass over there. It looks like we're gonna have to look around, trying to find something somewhere else. They, this is where they are at about midday. They ain't here today at midday. So we got a big area out here to search. See if we can't find some more. That, that one, boy, he thumped it too. That joker hit it hard. I'm gonna tell you right now, he hit it hard. He thumped it. It's a nice one too. I like that size and bigger. Tell you what, the way he hit it, every one of them's hitting that dog on blue ice. Every one of them. Y'all see him? <clears throat> All right, put it back out. Oh, right there's a, a little drove of them. A little drove of them. <clears throat> Circle this book right in here. See if we can stir them up right in here. There he is. Oh, I had him. There's a bunch of them out there. They coming in now. He is. Got him. Hey, a drove of them coming in there now. We gonna catch them too. It's right where I caught him yesterday. <laughs> right here. There he goes. Huh? There he goes. Oh, gone, boy. He's hooked. Look, you're nothing. Every one of them's on that blue ice. Oh, we got a drove of them out there. We got some right in here. Now I ought to throw that little jig out there and see if I can catch them. I'm on some now. See if they'll bite it now. After I pull one up this time, we're going to put that hair jig back out there since I'm on a few. See if we can make them bite it. Uh oh 
Nope, they was. Didn't take it though. Circle's boat. <laughs> boat tapping up that way. Boy, the boat tapping everywhere. fish right here. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, oh, he hit it. You get that slant on him, you catch him. And that might be what we got to do with that hair jig. Got to put that slant on him. Hey, boy, you're hitting him and not taking it. <laughs> they there. We got a whole drove of them under us. 33 foot of water. That time. There he is. Got him. As soon as I said not that time. Hitting it on up a little bit. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Look at that. Still hitting that dog on blue jig. Still hit. Pull it up while I'm done. Done tore it up. Get it back out there. We got a whole drove of them now. <clears throat> we gonna catch them right here. We stay in this area, we'll catch them. No doubt. Hey, he nailed it. He nailed it. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a slab right there. He stuck it too. Good one. We got two. Look at that. Two at a time. Two at a time. Huh? Two at a time. Y'all see it? I'm gonna do something crazy right here. I'm gonna put that rod back. Back to back. We're gonna pick up that hair jig right now. I, I wanna convince myself. It makes that kind of difference. I know I'm on them. <laughs> See if we catch one old hair here. See if they'll bite it. I think it's too little physically, is what I think. It's too small. I'm sure they're gonna bite. Some of them are gonna bite it, but I think it's too small. All right, let's see. Might have to move it different. I don't know. You would think swimming it just like the other one would be the way to go, but you got to remember it ain't wiggling. It ain't got that <laughs> that real live action like that swimming metal's got. That swimming metal's just deadly. Deadly. It's like a little crankbait. It's swimming. This thing here's just pulling along. They ain't hitting this thing either. Them hair jigs ain't got it, folks. I hate to say it. I done went through this before. It ain't no first time. They beautiful. And they crappy. And, oh, there you go. Got one on it. Show the world. Hey, I better shut up putting hair jigs down. It's just usual. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Nice one, too. But on that doggone purple. <clears throat> Put it back out. I ain't caught the first one on that green yet. Right. We got some fish down there, no doubt. They in his stir. I should have caught one there. Yeah. This fish all up under me. We're gonna have to go back to the doggone plastics. I just can't stand not using the plastics. All right, folks. We moved kind of in, and uh, we might be on some bigger fish. What I'm thinking, we might be on some bigger fish in here. <clears throat> we 
We got two at a time. Two at a time. Oh, one of them was a striper. Striper got off. <coughs> striper got off. That was a small perch. Striper got off. <coughs> Drop back down. I think we got something going in here. What I'm thinking. Sure, but I think we do. <clears throat> Stirring them up. It's kind of like in the mouth of a cove, but a little side drop. Hey, you dumped it. Hey, some here. It's got to fine tune these little places, these little drops and little humps. Catch them. We have 27 foot of water right here. I don't want to be out in the 30s, but hey, if they hit the 20s, we'll, we'll catch them in the 20s. That's a nice one. Hey, the bigger fish might be in more. That is, look at that, two at a time. Nah. The bigger fish are in more, I think. Huh. We're going to catch the devil out of them. I just can't get on them super dog magnums. They're all the same size. But that's okay. Size better than none, let me tell you. 27 foot right here. Get some more of them. See? Killing it. We might be done fighting the mother load. There might be more in. That's a good fish right there. What? That's a good one. Look at that. Two of them. I'm two jumbos. We just moved down a little bit, that's all we done. Y'all see it? We just moved in a little bit. Hey, let's put it back out. We got something going on in here. We done found us in a little spot. And what we done done, we done found us in another little spot. Yeah, they killing it too. They wide open. Wide open. Now this here would be a perfect place to put that dog on hair jig out there with them killing it like that. I got to try. Give it one more shot, y'all. See, y'all see what I was doing with that plastic. Let's drop the hair jig down, see what happens. We got nothing to lose. Might might cost us a couple fish, but that ain't no problem. We experiment. I want to see if they'll bite the hair jig as good. Or at all. We know we catch a couple on it. Alright, they're down there. Let's see if we can get one to bite. Look at that. No bite. Golly. Can you believe that? There ain't no competition with hair and plastic. I don't think. I might change my mind if they go to biting it. They ain't biting it. Y'all see that? We ain't getting a bite. We ain't getting a bite. And we just kill them. They there too. They're right there. They ain't hitting. They ain't hitting hairs you. Not a bump. Alright. Not <laughs> three times all they get. I'll tell you that right now. Take these darn hair jigs off. Oh, Lord. Oh, it. Can't beat Charlie Brewer. I can tell you that. Let that be known. There ain't even no competition. None. Unless they don't run out. I don't know. Look at that. As soon as I drop this one down, they takes it. You tell me. <laughs> I, it don't take me no I don't have to figure that out no more. I don't figure that out. I, I ain't got the hair with it. I don't go both ways. Got me bouncing around. That's the only bad thing. You start getting up this river area, all these boats coming by. It's a constant boat wave. <laughs> Especially if it's a bass tournament. You can't hardly stand it. I didn't get one that time. There you go. Oh, had a bite. <laughs> 
There you go. There you go. Medium size. They all still about the same size. And I ain't kidding you. All about the same size. There he is. Got him. Twenty six foot. Them big ones might be shallow. One's got a little color in it. It's a possibility. The bigger ones are shallow. Possibility. I'll tell you that. Good possibility. Tried it shallow like this. They out there. They shallow. That's what they are. Shallow. We've been out there too deep. <laughs> Trying to catch them. Fish are shallow. I've been living learning. They shallow. They ain't 24 foot of water. That's why we ain't been catching the bigger ones. We might find some bigger ones in the shallow. There you, there you go. There you go. That's a nice one. That's a good one. That's got to be a striper. Oh, one got off. The big one got off. The big one got off. We had a striper or a bass or something on. The big one got off. He's on the bottom of it. Killing it. They on fire. We done found the fish. Fish is shallow. We've been fishing too deep. Oh, stupid striper. Striper. Oh, come on with that boy. That's what that other was. Guarantee us what it was. Oh, go on striper. Still ain't them jumbos, they're still a medium sized fish. They're not the big, 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 big ones. There's plenty of them now. Them bass probably eight foot of water. Eight and ten. There he goes. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Gotta be a striper. <coughs> Might be too big perch. It's too something, I tell you that. No doubt. Two something. Big old perch. Two. One perch and one striper. Look at that. Huh. One perch, one striper. Charlie Bruin laying it to him. Laying it to him. That is a nice perch right there. That size is bigger than what we want. That's what we want, folks. We done figured something out though. They on the internal creek channels, not the external, not the primary, secondary. Is what they are. <laughs> that's what they are, they're moving in. We, there's a bunch of them in here. 
There's a lot of area in here fish too. They in here too, buddy. They stacked in here like stove wood. I can tell you that much. Nice one, dude. That's a nice one right there. Oh my goodness, that's a nice one right there. Stacked in there like stove wood. And they killing Mr. Charlie Brewer. <coughs> killing it. goes that's a nice one. that's a nice one it's fun catching them on these little rods i tell you that that's a good one stripe them i'm gonna stripe them it's fun catching them on these little rods he is upside down which didn't bother him y'all see it get it back out All right, folks, we moved out in the middle of the lake out here and we on a little hump. And I threw down and I got me a two jumbo magnums. I'm talking two jumbo magnums out here shallow in the middle of the lake on a hump. <laughs> we might be done fell into the mother load in here. What well, we might be done done. That's what I'm thinking anyhow. I mean, nice ones. Huh? Drop back out to the bottom. 23 foot deep. Lordy, lordy, Miss Claudia. Shyla. We're going to load the boat right here before we go home. You watch what I tell you. I just got a feeling. I got a feeling. When I get a feeling, it's right. They here. And we can catch them or not, but they here. I see them. I seen a bunch of shad out here. And I figured, you know, anytime you got a bunch of shad, you probably got perch. That was the one right there. Right in the middle, next to the river run. They out here. We just got to zero in on them and catch them. What we got to do. There you go. Good one. Good one. There's some good ones in here. Good ones in here. Real good ones. These are the jumbos. These are the big ones I've been looking for right here, folks. Might be done stumble on the big ones. Got the middle of the doggone creek. All there is. Shallow. I think shallow's the key. Let's see if we catch more of them. 22 foot. You. He nailed it. Them old big ones is out here. Oh, he got off. That was a slab. That was a jumbo super dog slab right there. I'm telling you, that was a big one. See ya? They out here. Oh my, they out here. They good ones. They jumbo, son. They jumbo. That is the kind you read about in Perch Magazine right there. Oh, Lord, look at that. Getting bigger, getting bigger, I'm getting excited. <clears throat> getting bigger and I'm getting excited. I'm gonna lay it to them. We're in 26 foot now. They all out in here, I think. Hey, I only got another good ones out here too, buddy. They good ones. These are good ones. Good eating size, yeah. Right there. 
Do you? Got a nothing. Got a nothing. Good one. Good one. Nice one. Nice one. Bigger fish out of shallow. That's what's happening. Bigger fish out of his shallow. 25 foot. Show the world. That's what they're doing. They ain't monsters, but they're nicer than what I was catching deep. See ya? Got him. Oh my, got him. We done fell into him. Nice fish, nice ones. Nice perch. Nice ones, look at that. Ain't that pretty? I don't know if that camera's going or not. I think it is. You're not feeling something. Yeah, hey, got another. Good one. Good one. Oh my, good one. What? Good one. I mean, nice ones. Big old perch there, yeah, buddy. That was kind of you're looking for right there. Slab perch. Slab boosters. Get back out, get some more of them slab boosters. Get some more of them doggone slab boosters. Jumbo magnums. That's what they are. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Come in here, boy. Laying it to him now. Laying it to him, old folks. Get it back out where the big girls lie. Nice catch. Nice one. Got him. Killing it. They killing it. Hey, they and I mean some pretty ones. They killing it. Late Murray's. Catch some fairly good fish. Gotta rehook this jig, it's messed up. That don't look real good, but we're gonna try it. I think the key is shallow. 30 or less. That's what I'm thinking. Up in this dingy water. That's where they at. There he is. Got him. Got him. We done figured them out now, folks. We have definitely figured them out. The big old perch is out here. Look at that, what a perch. That is a jumbo magnum right there, buddy. I mean, that's a jumbo. Getting that dog on blue. Can't get it out. It's in there, buddy. There it goes. Look at that, what a magnum. That is a magnum. What? Hey, that, that jig that's crooked. It's crooked. I'm telling you, it's crooked. I don't like crooked. Let's see if I can find another one. I want to see if they'll hit. Just for the heck of it, this junk bug right quick. I might be messing up. Thinking with this color water, they ought to kill that June bug. I just want to see. That's the way I learn, folks. I experiment. I experiment. There's some good perch in here. 
he's a bigger person what I've been catching one step bigger they there they ain't hit it they there I see them. 29 foot all kind of perch in there whole drove up right there he might not want that June bug mm, it was a bump but he didn't take it might have put that blue back on that blue ice There he is. Let's see what he's on. Let's see what he's on. That's a nice one right there, buddy. That's a good fish. If that's a perch, that's a whopper. I believe that's a striper. No, it ain't. It's a perch on that June bug. Sure is. Oh, buddy, he hit, caught it my, under the lip. He didn't really want it. <laughs> he didn't really want it. We got him down there like crazy. get them on us under us like crazy we done found a new hole i never have fished here this is a whole different ball game right here whole different spot i wish i'd have been here all day they might not have been all day but they in here now there ain't a lot of them i'm thinking that blue is the best color though right, they ain't hitting that june bug like they were hitting that blue on blue They better hurry up. I'm, I'm gonna be done put the blue back on. I believe that blue ice is what they really want. Yep. They're not hitting the same like the other. Amazing. Amazing. Nope. They ain't hitting. We outsmarted ourselves on that one. I'm fixing to put the blue ice back on, I tell you that much. We put the blue ice back on. They ain't hitting June Bug. Alright. Put it back out. Let's see if we can get back on. They out here somewhere. Guarantee on that. There you go. Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got a, about a mid size one. Got him on that blue. Put it back out. Maybe we're getting back in. We're in 34 foot of water now. Dropped off the edge this thing. There you go. Boy, he nailed it. That sucker nailed it. He nailed it. Nice one, too. All of these are good eating size. They ain't super dogs, but they good jumbos. They good jumbos. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. That's a good one. That's a slab right there. That is a slab right there. A nice heavy one. Oh yeah. A nice heavy one. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. And the good thing about it is I ain't got to drop 60 foot. Just like myself, Jack.